today's video we are going to discuss about super c band so what is super c band so in this video we will discuss about what is super c band actually super c band is nothing new but it's the some extended version of the extended c band so you can see here this is a 15 30 nanometer to 15 60 5 nanometer c band so this is called a standard c band with the total 4 terahertz spectrum so if we, if we are taking about 15 30 nanometer to 15 65 nanometer bandwidth so we have a total 4 terahertz spectrum uh, into the c band so when we start from 15 29 nanometer and end with 15 67 uh, nanometer we have a total 4.8 terahertz of spectrum which is called the extended c band and if we added uh, or we, if we extend uh, some more bandwidth, both the side of the extended C band, you can see here, I have taken 1524 nanometer here and 1572 nanometer on the other side of the extended C band. So it will become super C band, which is having total 60 terahertz of a spectrum. You can see here, this is the extended C band, which is from 1530 to 1565 total uh, spectrum is 4 terahertz for extended C band. It's for here 1529 to 1567. We have total 4.8 terahertz spectrum. This is called the extended C band. And in super C band, we have taken some more bandwidth or some more, you can say the wavelength range both side of the extended C band, which is called the super C band. And we have total uh, the spectrum is around 6.1 terahertz if we are taking 1524 nanometer to 1572 nanometer range so this is called the super c band you can see here standard c band range 4 terahertz 1530 to 1565 extended c band 4.8 terahertz spectrum with 1529 nanometer to 1567 nanometer range and super c band with 6 terahertz spectrum with 1524 to 1572 nanometers so super c band with its 6.1 terahertz of spectrum this is about the super c band this progression is expand c band operation is nothing new as per IT standards the industry uh, in standard standard c4 terahertz then expanded to extended 4.8 terahertz spectrums there were also vendor there were some vendors we are we, which they are using 4 terahertz spectrum and there are some vendors which are utilizing 4.4 terahertz of spectrums there are some more uh, vendors which are using this extended c, uh, c band like 4.8 terahertz spectrum which is, is utilized now it's time to move the super c which is a need to utilize the 6.1 terahertz of spectrum so super c band extends the spectrum at both ends of that extended c band you can see here both the end of extended c band when we extend the spectrum both the end of extended c band we will get the super c band with 6.1 terahertz of spectrum so we can directly connect an extended c band amplifier with rodum with super c band amplifiers and rodums so this is about the c band and you can see a 27 percent more fiber spectrum than extended c band so if we are using the super c band we will use 27 percent more fiber spectrum than the extended c band uh, so you can see a c band 1524 nanometer which we convert into terahertz we will get 196.714 in the same way 1529 uh, 9 nanometer will convert it in the terahertz it will get 196.0709 in the same way you can see it's for 1530 nanometer for 1565 nanometer for 1567 nanometer and 1570 nanometer it will 190.70767048 terahertz so you can see uh, the super c band range in uh, nanometer is 15 to 4 nanometer from 1572 nanometer and its uh, range in the terahertz is equal to 190.70 to 196.71 1529 to 1567 is the extended c-band and 1530 to 1565 is the uh, standard c-band so you can see here standard c-band extended c-band and super c-band so this is the nanometer to 
uh, frequency conversion. So it's a wavelength in nanometer, it's a wavelength in terahertz, you can see. And the range 1524 to 1572 is for the super C band here. And you can see in terahertz 190.70 to 196.714. So this is all about the super C band.